finally, after four months of waiting, we are finally able to get a new mythical epic in Prodigy. This time, remember it is Marahawk, and this is what the Wizard Watch post reads. A mix of many creatures, Marahawk takes to the skies. Now available from September 1st to November 31st. So yes, it is as usual available for three months and it is finally a new mythical epic and I just love the design on it. And now we see it in the mythical epics tab. We see the quest items that we have to get. And yes, now Mag Mayhem is unobtainable. And so we see the this idle animation of um, Marahawk, and if you notice, there's this really cool, like, the tail, it looks so good, but it also has a tongue that occasionally flicks out of it because it's a snake, so it looks really cool. And our quest items to get are Flight Feathers, Marahawk Nests, and Toy Clove Rats. Yes, you remember Clove Rat from the Springfest 2023 Task Rewards. So yes, since we are going to Firefly Forest first, I am putting on some ice pets. You won't see the battles though, because I will be cutting them out as always. It feels so good to be doing this again, it's been so long. So yes, we are finally back to going around and trying to collect some quest items for a mythical epic. And of course, that means we're starting off with our usual luck of not getting one on the first try. Let's go. Hopefully, we can get one on this second, these second flowers. Let's see if we can get past this monster here. Yes, we can. And no, we do not get any, um, uh, unfortunately. How about from this one? Can we get something here? Nope. Yeah, this is how it usually seems to go all the time for me. It's just, I seem to be really unlucky with this kind of thing. So, can we get anything from this one? No, still no. Yeah, this is just how it is, unfortunately. Hopefully I get one from the next one. So let's head on up here and open this box. Be careful around here because you can activate these monsters. Alright, so we did get one flight feather. At least we got one if we can't collect all four, which I assume by this point we cannot. But anything can happen. Let's see if we can get one from this next crate. Alright, no. That lowers the chances even more. So let's head back down here to the next area and open the crate that is in here. Again, nothing. I don't know what it is with my luck. It's just I don't seem to get them, like, nearly at all. So there's two more, I believe, and we cannot get three, so let's just open this flower. All right, so we did get a second one, two flight feathers out of four. That is if we can't get the, the third one from this final box back here. Let's see. No, unfortunately not. We'll have to get two more when the crates respawn. So we ended our task of finding four flight feathers with only two of the four in Firefly Forest. And now we are about to go search for the five Marahawk nests in Skywatch. So let us begin this second task of trying to obtain Marahawk. It has been way too long since I've done one of these. Can we get one from here? No, unfortunately not. Again, we start out with nothing as per usual, it seems. 
but we did get one from here. Yes, I do like how Marahawk, the name, is in the name of the quest item. It's pretty cool, but I do wish the quest items appeared in the in your inventory. It's unfortunate that they don't. Nothing from this one. Oh yes, I am glad that the monster up there has been gone since the, that... Oh, we did get a second one. That's good. That monster up there has been gone since the um, mini boss quest. Not quest, but ones with the shadow crates. Since they appeared, the monster that was at that place has been gone, which is good because then we can go through that area without encountering a monster. Let's head back. We did not get another one there. And go to the third area of Skywatch. Let's see if we can get some of these. This part right here is always pretty tedious. Trying to get past. So hopefully I make it without having to battle any either of these monsters. Alright, we made it there. But it wasn't even worth it, unfortunately, because we did not get one. Now we have to make it back. Hopefully we can succeed in doing the set. There we go. Now let's go up here and open this safe. 30 arrows. Unfortunately, not what we needed. This heart balloon might give us one though. And no, it gave us 20 arrows. So, I think there's only one more here. Like I said, it has been way too long. I keep forgetting where some of the things are because I haven't searched for them in four months. So yes, this is the last one down here. And we did not get a third one. So again, we end with two out of five of the quest items. This time, the Mirror Hawk Nest. And now we are about to go searching for the six toy clove rats in Bonfire Spire. So yes, this was a pretty interesting quest item for them to choose. A toy version of the pet clove rat. I love it though, I'm glad that they chose to do this. And great, we are starting out with one. That's pretty uncommon for us, but that's great that we have started out with one. Hopefully we get more than two in this one because we've gotten two in the last two of them. All right, another one from here. That doesn't necessarily mean that we'll get close to it because we could not get any from the rest of them, but it makes me feel better that I've already got two in two down. We'll just wait for this to open. Okay, we did not get anything from there. I'm trying to remember where the next thing is. Is there one on this side? I believe there is. I... Well, I'm not sure. Um... There might be one on this side. Let me go ahead and check. I couldn't remember exactly where in Bonfire Spire it was. So, hopefully, I, I believe in past in the past I have had to turn on that lever to reach one of them. So, hopefully that's just how that is. Yes, there is one over here. So, let's open it up. Okay, that was not worth it. We did not get one of them. But, of course, I was not going to know that. And monster respawning problems now the monsters actually respawn instead of not respawning like they had been for a few months now i believe they just stopped respawning until you logged out and i think i kind of preferred that better but now they've started respawning again i don't think in the same way as they used to though it's weird i wonder what prodigy actually did with that so now we need to go drain the lava and open up the crate that is out here. 
So we're just going to go up here and pull the lever to drain the lava so that we can get through. And of course, open the crate as well. But unfortunately, it gave us only 30 hot hots. It did not give us another toy clove rat. I have a feeling we will not be completing this task as well because that's just the way it happens to be. Okay, so there's another crate out here. I know that. Still nothing. Yes, this should get me back in the groove of hunting for mythical epics. It's been four months, like I said. Still nothing. Now we go over here to the end of Bonfire Spire. There is a crate in this area over here. Let's see if it gives us something. Yes, it gave us the third toy clove rat. That is great. We have gotten half of them now. Broke the streak of two there. There is one more. We could get a fourth one. We might not. Let's see what happens here. Can we get a fourth one? All right, we did. We got a fourth toy clove rat. So this time we ended up with two flight feathers, two marahawk nests, and four toy clove rats. So what do you think of the new mythical epic Marahawk? I will be uploading part two of my tutorial for how to obtain Marahawk once I have finished the quests and obtained Marahawk. So be on the lookout for that and let me know your thoughts about Marahawk in the comments.